Hello, hello. I hope you're all doing very well. So my first term at East 15 Acting School is over now and so many of you have been asking me what we do at acting school and especially in acting classes so I thought now after the first term it would be a great moment to answer that question. Acting classes have been intense because we've moved so quickly literally from doing nothing to doing the most intense emotional situations and then working on Shakespeare. All that in the span of five weeks and I keep saying it is very challenging here, I love it, I love the fact that I'm being challenged but it is intense as well. So we started off by exploring who we are and how we behave when we are by ourselves in private without an audience so the first task was to clock the audience out and literally do three activities that you do at home by yourself. So things like cooking, cleaning, doing a workout, things like that. That's when I vlogged and you can find that little clip somewhere here, I'll have a link. And second, we moved on to using the fourth wall, so when you're on a stage you'll have three walls and then the fourth would be where the audience is and very often actors still use it so they, they pretend there's a mirror or there's a window or there's a clock and we had to do that and use that so many people used it as a mirror they did their makeup there and so naturally there is no mirror but there's the audience I used it as a window that I looked out of and again you had to do three activities what was the next one? Oh, so because those two exercises had no stakes, the third task was to add stakes. And the exercise was called sleeping partner. Again, you had to do three activities, but you had a person sleeping in your room and you couldn't wake them up. And I pretended it was Lily and it was Lily's birthday and I was preparing her birthday breakfast and I couldn't wake her up. And yeah. So slowly we were adding stakes and then the next one was like super high stakes because that was the opposing actions or opposing wants. You and your partner came up with opposing wants, a situation where both of you want something different and then you had 30 minutes to negotiate and trying to find a solution by improvising. It was insane how quickly we moved from not speaking to such an emotional, intense situation. And we did three rounds of that. So my first one was uh, about moving out. The second one was about a vegan household. There the stakes were not high enough. And then the third one was the abortion one. And you might have seen my video called I am struggling on my struggles in drama school because that was quite extreme and the feedback I got was quite extreme and yeah so then we had done a couple of weeks of improvisation and suddenly we moved on to text we got a script and got to play detectives because as an actor you need to do all the background work all the detective work and find all the little details that are hidden in a script and that will tell you details about your character, the backstory, the setting. And then we moved on to Shakespeare. So this week we have priority week, which means rehearsals. And next week we are moving to the Globe for our three week residency and then our performance at the Globe Theatre. Yes, Shakespeare's super famous Globe Theatre from the 1500s or what? So we had a bit of Shakespeare background information work last week on all the cues that Shakespeare's hidden in his text for actors. We worked with the first folio, which was basically the first version of Shakespeare's plays that were later unfortunately edited for grammar reasons and stuff like that. But Shakespeare spelled things and used capital letters and all those kinds of things in order to tell an actor how to act them and that was great and so if we have access to the first folio that is great because Shakespeare's added a lot of indications and he was a very clever man who knew what he wanted from actors. 
So now we have received our Shakespeare plays and our parts and our roles, which is so cool. And this week we're going into priority week and rehearsals, as well as doing contemporary scenes with the directing students. So basically I am in two plays this week. I'm doing my Shakespeare one and I'm doing a contemporary one. And the contemporary ones we're performing on Friday before moving into the Globe next week, Monday. So I think that's about it. It's been crazy, it's been very emotional and additionally to these acting classes we have 50% skills classes which are things like voice, theatre history, singing, movement, all different kinds of movement and yeah it's been it's been wild but i'm being challenged and i love it i'm going to tell you more about our shakespeare project in an upcoming video if you have any other questions about drama school life and lessons and what we've done so far please leave them down below in the comments if you want to support me please subscribe and hit the bell button and i will see you soon for more drama school related videos I love you very much and remember if you leave a comment you're in for a postcard. Mwah. Bye!